Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we are going to create single database in Azure SQL database using BICEP. Okay, what is BICEP? BICEP is a domain specific language, DSL, that uses declarative syntax to deploy Azure resources. It provides concise syntax, reliable type safety, and support for code reuse. BICEP offers the best authoring experience for your infrastructure as code solutions in Azure. So the prerequisite for this creation of single database in Azure SQL database is that you have to have Azure subscription. And this section which we are going to study is under Azure SQL database creation using BICEP. Okay, under the special documentation for Azure SQL, we could see under the quick starts of creation of the database, we have this BICEP section using BICEP. Next is the review of the BICEP file. A single database has a defined set of compute, memory, IO, and storage resources using one of the two purchasing models. Okay, when you create a single database, you also define a server to manage it and place it in Azure resource group in a specified region. That's why in the BICEP file, you can see that in the quick start, we have the details of these, that is the server, the region, etc. And here in the quick start templates, you can see how we define it. And here the BICEP file will use the quick start templates. If we open these templates, here we can see it is dot sql servers dot sql servers and the database let's go back this is the sample file which is given here where the name of the sql logical server is given then sql database you can give the name of your choice here they have given sample db location then comes the location which is the resource groups location wherever your resource group is created it will be created in the same location then the administrator username that is the user id and the password okay then comes the resource creation server name location properties that is having the login and the password then comes the sql db its server db name location name and tier looks fine the following resources are defined in the bicep file that is the servers and the servers databases this is fine. We will take the copy of this BICEP file, which is given in the Microsoft standard documentation here. We'll go to the notepad. We'll paste it here. We'll go back here and we'll go to the deploy BICEP file section. It is said the first step, it is said in the first step to save the BICEP file as main.bicep to your local computer. So we have it here in the notepad. We'll try to save it. So let's save. Here in the files folder, we'll save it with the name main dot bicep. That's fine. We'll click on save and we'll go to the same location here in the files and can see main dot bicep is saved. The type is bicep file. Let's go back. Now let's go back to the documentation again. We have saved the bicep file as main dot bicep. Deploy the BICEP file using either CLI, Azure Command Line Interface, or Azure Partial. So CLI related commands are given here and the partial related commands here. We'll do it through CLI. So the first step here in the CLI commands is AZ group create name example RG location East US. Here they are creating the resource group. In our case, we'll be using our existing resource group. Then comes AZ deployment group create resource group under this resource group using the BICEP file you create this thing. Using this BICEP file we are deploying, we are creating the deployment group. Then replace admin login with the administrator username of the SQL logical server you will be prompted to enter the password. When the deployment finishes you should see a message indicating the deployment succeeded. After the resources successfully deployed, that is the single database in Azure SQL database, we will review whether it's deployed or it is showing up in the resource list of the resource group or not. 
So we'll go to the Azure portal. Let's go to the portal. Here we are in the home page. And this is the first icon on the right side, which is Cloud Shell Azure CLI. So we'll click over it. It will open up the CLI for us. Let's wait. We are under bash. We are not under partial because we are going to run CLI commands. Let's wait. And we'll go back here. We could see that we have to save the file to the local computer and then add it to the CLI. So here we can see we are under the cloud shell and the deployment steps are given here as to save this to your local computer. We have saved already the file. Now here we have the upload and download files option in the CLI. So we'll click over it. The first option is upload. Okay, we'll click on upload. And we know our file resides inside the bicep file resides inside this files folder. We'll select this main.bicep file, which is having the content which we have just seen. We have gone through this content. So this is uploaded, uploaded to the destination that is complete. Now we'll go back to the documentation and we have the steps here. We'll copy these steps, we'll go to the notepad and we'll open a new page, paste. As I said that the first step is to create the resource group. We already have the resource group. So what we'll do is we will use the same resource group name here. Here they have created example RG. In our case, we'll go to the Azure portal, we'll duplicate the tab and get the resource group name. So let's wait. We'll go to the resource groups. Here we have the resource group name as cloud knowledge. So we'll copy this resource group name. We'll paste it here. Sorry copied it so just copy paste here cloud knowledge template file is main.bicep which we have just uploaded in the CLI parameters administrator login which is having the admin login so let's give the admin login name as cloud knowledge okay this looks fine we'll just copy the command of deployment group creation and go back to the CLI we'll paste this command here Okay, AZ deployment group create under resource group cloud knowledge using the main bicep file. So here the command is AZ deployment group create under the resource group cloud knowledge using the main dot bicep file which is uploaded here in CLI and the login will be cloud knowledge. Let's click on enter and wait. So the first line came is the configuration value of bicep this from path is set to false, please provide secure string value for the password. Okay, because in the file we have defined in the main.bicep this password. Okay, it is asking us the password now. While giving password, make sure you follow the password policy of giving secure password. Enter. Let's wait for some time. It's running behind, we can see, running. So now we can see that the command executed and if we go a little above, the details okay id subscription resource group is shown as cloud knowledge then deployment used name is main if we go down here resource name created is this that is the server name then comes the database name which is sample db if we go down below and the other details here.
So here, since there are multiple resources in the resource group, it is hard to find. We can filter out here in the command itself, or we can directly go in the cloud knowledge resource group and just open this resource group. To see the details of the DB, resource group is same, resource group location was East US region, so the same is selected and the other details of the database. So I hope you have understood the creation of single database using BICIP in Azure SQL database.